we have for this very topic, more on the COVID-19 situation in West Java, we are actually joined by the Governor of West Java, Mr. Ridwan Kamil. Good afternoon, Mr. Governor. Good afternoon, Bruce, and also Iriani and Maria. Okay. Uh, I hope everything is okay. We, we are indeed okay. We also hope the same for you, Mr. Governor. All right, so our first question, how is the situation of COVID-19 in your province and how is the trend of infection rate bed occupancy rate and the death rate yeah i think uh, as you see uh, west java now uh, majority is about good news uh, we have reached the lowest record for occupancy ratio in the hospital is around 16.3 percent last month uh, in the third week of july uh, we had around 91 percent. So you can imagine uh, almost collapse during uh, end of July. Now reduced only to 16 percent. And our case uh, active case also reduced significantly. Uh, end of July, uh, we had around 120,000 active cases. Now it's only around 21,000 uh, active cases. So down uh, 100,000. Uh, uh, <clears throat> death rate also still below the national death rate. I think national death rate is around uh, three point something. Uh, West Java is around 1.9 percent. Yeah. Uh, majority uh, fatality uh, comorbid is diabetic, uh, hypertension, and also a heart problem. So I think. Uh, that is in general, uh, and also uh, this week, the first time, we, uh, the whole West Java, 27 cities and regencies, we have no longer PPKM level 4, uh, we have 21 now PPKM level 3, and we have uh, 6 uh, good news uh, PPKM level 2, so I'm pushing, hopefully next week, majority from PPKM level three to PPKM level two uh, as a as a majority, and also uh, we don't have what we call high risk assessment anymore in West Java. So overall, we are in the good shape. Uh, so my message to the people is, please uh, do not have some euphoria moment because uh, pandemic is still here. Uh, so I think we still need to exercise uh, the health protocol uh, number one is wearing the mask of course and that's what we are uh, telling the people today okay uh, mr governor or anyone would call you as kang rituan <laughs> um question is you just stated that uh, most of the areas or the regency are no longer level four so can you tell us what is the key to reaching green zone in west java I think uh, West Java is always having five principles. Principle number one is always proactive. Uh, we cannot wait. For example, we, buy, we bought oxygen directly from China with the help of our network, for example. Uh, we cannot rely 100% from central government. Every time we have opportunity, we have to be proactive. Second, we always transparent about our data. Uh, that's why if a good news, we say good news. If there is a bad news, we say bad news. And we try to find a way to solve the bad news. Number three is always scientific. Yeah, uh, uh, because of the data, good data, good decision, bad data, bad decision. Uh, number four is always about innovations. Yeah, we now do vaccination, vaccination uh, using a door-to-door -door methodology, for example. And number five, now this is the most important one, we have what we call the principle of collaboration. So I think to achieve many of the green zone, I think 90% uh, of West Java is under control. It's because uh, from the central government, from uh, regional government, uh, local government, uh, military, police, also uh, everybody has a stake uh, in managing uh, uh, a good result of handling the pandemic. For example, 
if you are sick, uh, you have option to be transferred to local isolation homes, yeah, managed by uh, village uh, or kelurahan, for example, mm -hmm. uh, or you can uh, be taken to more uh, proper, what we call it, centralized isolation uh, facilities. Uh, there's also uh, we have 40 of them, and uh, we have now much better preparation in hospital. We are surplus now in oxygen uh, capacity. We we are more or less uh, under control is because of the participation of everybody. So I would like uh, to thank you, everyone who are also part of this team, uh, and also to the people who obey the rules uh, for working at home, yeah, work from home, uh, exercise to restrain uh, traveling uh, for unnecessary trip, for example, yeah, uh, exercising, social distancing, and so on and so on. I think uh, the key is uh, collaborative action. That is the key success of West Java today. Yes, okay, Mr. Governor, we agree with you that collaboration has become one of the keys to combat this pandemic. And now we're moving on to education. How many schools are open for in-classroom learning, uh, Mr. Governor? And what are the criteria for the schools to be deemed safe for in-classroom in -classroom learning? I think uh, given the regulation from the central government, uh, Whenever you reach the PPKM level three, then you are uh, okay to start exercising uh, school uh, in no a normal way, yeah. but still in the limited capacity. Uh, so since West Java uh, no longer level four, majority level three, and some are level two, so it means the whole school in West Java uh, is ready to open. Uh, but uh, to have a precaution exercise, we are uh, preparing the system to make sure uh, a healthcare protocol is in place to make sure uh, random checking by antigen uh, test, for example, yeah. exercising the the numbers of hours uh, reduce, uh, maybe only four hours a day, uh, and also the number of students. We have a shift, maybe this week, 50% uh, student, and the following week, uh, change to another 50% student. So uh, maybe how we do things is uh, this week 50% go to school, next week 50% at home, and vice versa. This is the adaptation that we are doing in West Java. So hopefully in the next coming weeks when we have a random checking and there is no problem, there is no cases found in school, then we can adjust the number of uh, students uh, from 25% to 50%, maybe 75%, and who knows, maybe to 100% sometime soon. So that's uh, a good news for uh, parents because many parents complain to me also they also get stressful because uh, their children been at home for almost one and a half years yeah. and majority is not a good uh, result having a digital uh, or uh, learning at home yeah. so this is the, the good news that we are preparing but with very cautious uh, measures Mr. Governor, let's talk about the vaccination rate. As we know that there is an attempt to reach herd immunity both on the national and the provincial level, which is of course 75%. What must be done in order for West Java to reach the target by the end of the year? Uh, I think when it comes to number, uh, Bruce, uh, West Java is the uh, most challenging region. Yeah. Uh, because we have 50 million. You can imagine, yeah, 50 million is the size of South Korea, it's twice the size of Australia, it's one and a half size of Malaysia. So the challenge of West Java governor is very, very big. So uh, since uh, we are trying to reach a herd immunity by 75, 70 to 75 percent, 
it means uh, I need to vaccine around uh, seven, uh, 37 million people. Yeah. And another challenge, my region is not homogeneous yeah, because we have a heterogeneous situation. We have uh, remote villages uh, in the mountains, in the valleys, not every uh, one living in the urban area like Jakarta or Bandung. So this is also the challenge. So I think uh, since the president uh, asked uh, West Java to finish by end of December, it means I have to uh, vaccinate around uh, 500,000 people a day. Yeah. And we need around 15 million doses uh, a month. Uh, so since the, the vaccine uh, are not coming from us, from the central government, uh, yesterday, I uh, sent a request to Mr. President that in order to finish his assignment to me, uh, please make sure the 15 million uh, doses of vaccine also available every month. Uh, because I think our system can reach uh, this target uh, with no problem. We, we, we have uh, vaccine at uh, Puskesmas clinics, for example, hospitals, school, pesantren, uh, religious uh, school, door-to-door, uh, -door, uh, uh, from village to village, uh, contribution from the third parties. So everyone is now uh, jumping to help. And the uh, good news is, Bruce, uh, everybody now asking for vaccine, which is good news. Less uh, hopes, yeah? more excitement coming from my people uh, to get vaccinated. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Ridwan Kamil, for your time, your insights and the encouraging news from West Java. Thank you again. Please stay safe.